I wanted to talk to you about partnerships. Yeah. Uh, as a creator, which is the best way to approach a brand? What, we, uh, what do you think would be the best way to do it? Giving advice to young creators <clears throat> who want to, either they're afraid of approaching a brand, they don't know how to do it. Is it purely about numbers? How can you show your value? Okay, it's, it's, it's a, I feel like it's a hit or miss in, over here. Yeah. In my experience, I have seen guys looking at numbers, mm -hmm. but also then again, I charge a lot. <coughs> yeah. so, so, so I think you need to show your value. If you're up and coming, you can share like what ideas you have in mind. Mm -hmm. I think there's this huge notion of like, oh, if I share my idea, they're going to take it and give it to someone else. Yeah, they can do that. But like, will that someone else uh, um, execute it as well as you yeah, would? As you would. Okay. <coughs> so if you, if you, if you go on with that belief that you know what i can ex execute the way i have it in my mind mm -hmm. and no one can touch me mm -hmm. if you have that belief in yourself and you approach these brands like that then you should be okay i don't think numbers at, at that point would matter mm -hmm. however mm -hmm. it's kind of like um it's this balance between how many followers do you have versus how much do you want to charge versus what's the quality of your content because when you don't have followers you're relying mostly on the quality of your content yeah so at that point like you have to you have to be really good with either telling a story or visuals yeah yeah i agree with you um the, the thing my advice usually is first start first you, start yeah there's no you can get partnership <laughs> Yeah. Without showing what you have already done. Yeah, exactly. And by first starting out <coughs> in the travel content, pay for yourself, go somewhere, do something really nice that you're proud of. You don't. You might not get the audience that you you think you sh you you should get. Yeah. But then use it now to. But now you have a product. You have a product exactly. Yeah. And like I can do this for you. And oftentimes when I'd have that attachment of like needing that business and that fear of like oh what if they don't. I would like push to be like okay but I can give you a better price but I can do this and I would never get up I would never get the client mm. um, <clears throat> until I started adventure seeing and I would just throw out stupid figures to clients and not even care whether they would book me or not mm. and oftentimes than not they would book me yeah. at the crazy prices and I was like okay so what's happening here mm -hmm. until I realized being attached to anything you want in life is just not a good thing at all you need to have this carefree not give an F attitude. Yeah. So, if you're rejected, just be like, okay, you'll come back. I know yeah, you'll, come, you'll back. come back. Yeah, I've had brands who have reached out to me after being rejected. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> see, <laughs> see. <laughs> see. And now you give now them, you pay me triple. Yeah, you, you give them <clears throat> a much bigger quotation. Yeah. So. Compared to what you have done. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. don't have attachment to it. If you get rejected, it's totally fine. Yeah. That doesn't say anything about your value or your worth. Yeah. It just it just means it's not the right time for you, for, for and that. the time will come. Yeah, yeah, and it, it usually does. Uh, it, it, yeah, it usually it does. does. It always yeah. does. It does because I've been in that situation as well, whereby you you get rejected and then you feel really bad about it. Yeah, and just move on and then. A That's few the months thing. You don't want to feel. You don't want to feel bad about it. You wanna you wanna soothe yourself and tell yourself that hey, you know. They're not ready for you. <laughs> they're not ready for me. They're not ready for this greatness. <laughs> yeah. And then you just put your head down and get back to work. Mm -hmm and look for someone else yeah yeah and then um as soon as you know it the other people will come crawling back and you're like yeah boy it's fucked yeah we have this attachment to all these outcomes right mm -hmm. and um that's why we do all this research then we start shooting ourselves in the foot like that mm -hmm. so i'll give you an example two times i went to hildana and i and I told myself, again, it was safari based. I told myself, I don't care. I'm going to create content because I love creating content and I'm not going to care about how the story is going to turn out and I'm not going to pre-script anything and blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to go do my best and move from there. So the video came out really well. I enjoyed my time. Like I was in the moment with my family and I was able to pull out the camera when it just felt right. Yeah. And I did my best. 
there was no pressure on like oh i need to research this or research that oh i need to retake this i need to retake that yeah uh the ability to believe in yourself after you've done videos for 6 years mm. you have to think back and see that you've gained so much experience without even knowing yeah. that you don't even really need to script anymore yes Yes. And and first of all you're very natural on camera. Like you don't really think about it. Don't think about it. So like you have a chance every week, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for watching that highlight video. If you want to watch the full conversation that we had on the game drive, uh click here. I'm going to put it here. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't already or even share with anyone who would be interested in this conversation. Um it helps my channel and it helps me make more videos like this. Asante. Bye.